Welcome to Scotch Night. Um, Thursday edition. Uh, so tonight we are going to review one of, well, this is probably our all of our favorite Scotch. Absolutely. Ever. Uh, yes. Yeah. Ever. Uh, so and, and so you know the varied palates we have. <laughs> yeah. And we all love this. This this Scotch brings to the table a lot of different things. Um, so yeah. a lot of scotches will finish their scotch in a particular type of wood, whether it's sherry or a port cask or uh, rum casks, uh, bourbon. American bourbon. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of different flavors to be drawn out of those different casks. This particular <laughs> bottle, the Dalmore King Alexander III, uh, <laughs> this bottle ages their scotch in all of those. Uh, it does Madeira, it does Port, it does Sherry, it does Cabernet Sauvignon, it does American Whiskey Barrels. So it gets elements so from all of these things. So all of the above. Shit. Uh, right. uh, and, like, oh, and it's, it's just it's so good. an no. unbelievably it's amazing so scotch. That's full house. Um, yeah. So, so let's clarify. So that sounds like it's a blend to me. But it's not. It's but not. It's so, so how do they do? Do they just move the liquor between the different casks? So basically, it, it is sort of a blend. It's basically they are distilling the liquor. They're letting it age, just like they do a lot of these others that they finish in these different barrels. So, like if you get, um, I don't know, like a uh, something that's finished in a port cask. Okay, yeah. okay. They're gonna mostly age it in a used bourbon barrel is yeah. what usually they okay. age it in uh, for however long they need it to age for, 12 years, 14 years, whatever. At the end of that time, they pull that liquor out, they put it in that sherry cask or that port cask, and they just let it sit for a few months just to pull out a few of those elements, and then right. they put it in the bottle. So what they're doing here is they're letting this liquor age for you know, an extended period of time in American oak, uh, used bourbon barrels, and then they're separating the liquor into all these other casks. That's crazy. Um, it's so they're letting it get, get right. yeah, and then they're bringing it all back together and blending it to get... Um, this amazing nectar. Um, <laughs> so, nectar. when you look at this bottle, so true. Um, you know, is is it the cheapest bottle of scotch we have on the bar? No, no, it's absolutely not, not the cheapest, the cheapest bottle. bottle. No. Is it the most expensive bottle we have on the bar? No, no, actually, no, it is not. not. Is it the best bottle we have on the bar? Hands down. Hands down, absolutely the best. And here's why: this scotch has God. elements of so that many things fruity. and the flavors change as it as it sits in your mouth as you oh. swallow it so as fruity as, oh, so the, much uh, as the flavors just kind of okay, roll through there's so much going on um, it does smell delicious it if you really so, if you are ever are in a bar anywhere and you see this you got so what to is try. that bottle what is a bottle of that calls retail I don't I, I believe it goes for about two forty. Two forty two hundred forty dollars. I was gonna say I think if you just looked it up, quick Google search, it's two ninety nine. We we you got a I would say three hundred for It's eighty probably. proof. There's not the alcohol content isn't anything weird. No. Um oh, it's it's so just good. an amazing glass. Uh you will probably not see this on very many bars. No. Um I guarantee well, you probably, probably thirty five or forty dollars a glass if you bought it. Yeah, you may it's not a very common scotch um, because it is a little more expensive. It is oh, definitely it is absolutely worse. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Finding a bottle of this scotch. It's got every flavor, it just pops yeah. in your mouth. Um, it, it's something that. No is, smoke though. No smoke. No smoke. It, it's so good that we just kind of savor this scotch. Uh, we pour very little, <laughs> we, we just have a little glass every now and then. Um, but it's it's wonderful stuff, and it has so many different complex things going on. This is the standard that we judge pretty much yeah, everything else too. Four all the uh, way. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I can't imagine that anybody's. I gotta tell you, before we started this whole shebang with Scotch Club and went to the, the Scotch tasting here in town, never even heard of Dalmore. Yep. I uh, tried three or four. They had maybe six bottles, different labels that night, and uh, this was one of them. And I was blown away. Picked up a bunch of their their uh, pamphlets and stuff, and 
you know, as much as we love this and as expensive as this is, this doesn't scratch the surface of what Dalmore does. They've got some collections that are in the thousands, but uh, this opened my eyes up to a different level of what Scotch can be. Okay, so we had an earlier version too, like a younger version of this too, right? We had a we had a twelve, 12? year Dalmore, and it, it was That's a good bottle. Good. Uh, but this is just is this a year a dated or is this a no no? It's an undated. And a lot of scotches are going so to that now, um, just because. No. Really? No, it's not a blend. They're just not telling you that they're they're not saying they're saying it, they're not guaranteeing it's set and in in its first setting for any long any specific period of time. Which I don't blame them to get this flavor when you're going through that many casks. It's not about the timing, yeah. it's about getting the taste. So the master has to taste it and say, all right, it's had enough sherry, it's had enough right. Madura, it's had enough whatever. And this is the, how many did you say it goes through? I mean, it's like I half a like, dozen. Yeah, it's, it's at it's, least six. It's crazy. Uh, so A unique six case marriage of specially selected aged scotch. Right. So I don't care what it is, it's delicious. <laughs> the way you blend okay, your so single, let's I don't care. Out. Let's go through what is it. How does it hit you? What does it smell like? What is it? How's it finish? It's, got, it that? it's got all kinds it, of stuff. It, it has on. so much stuff going on, um, and it, it changes as it sits in the glass. Um, it, it's almost like a wine in that it kind of opens up as it breathes a little bit. Um, I just on the nose right now. I get vanilla. I get uh, some like cassis, like some berry. Yeah, um, some berry. I, I get, smell uh, the berry. I smell yeah. fruit. It's definitely fruity. Yeah, uh, it's got even a little bit of orange. It, yeah, it's got some orange. Not, it's not really a peaty, smoky. Not at all. Anything like there's no that peter at all. smoke in there. No. The, that's the thing. So I'm, I'm so used to scotches that either have smoke or they got nothing. Yeah. This has no smoke, but it's got something. Yeah. And the flavors, and, and that you know the thing that's interesting to me is you know I like the lingering mm. smoky. This lingers, but it's not smoky. Right. No. No, it's and the thing that I, the first sip I took of this, the transition of flavor between that first on the tongue mm -hmm. to the maybe five seconds later, it just... It changes. It changed. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't, my palate is not good enough right. <laughs> not to, to understand Scott. what I changed. I don't know what it is, but it's, you can well, definitely but feel it definitely and changed. taste it. Yeah. I, I can tell you that you're going through a progression from the different barrels that it's sat in. Yeah. So every single barrel has imparted different things because right. all of them are different. You know, Marsala and Madeira are completely different. Sherry is completely different. Um, Cabernet Sauvignon, completely different. So you're pulling elements from all of these things. Um, and it's in there. And, and it's in there. This scotch, I, I have a hard time describing it to people. I have a hard time pigeonholing right. it into a category because it just doesn't want to stay there. Yeah. Um, it's got so many different flavors. It appeals to so many different kinds of whiskey drinkers. Um, even people who don't necessarily like scotch, if you poured them a little bit of this, they will appreciate it. We have given this to people yeah. who flat out don't drink liquor, and they love it. They like it a lot. So yeah. if people that don't even like hard liquor like this, and neat, just having a sip, it's amazingly good. So do yourself a favor. You're not gonna find it in normal bars. Go find a Scotch bar somewhere. They might have some, and get yourself a glass of this. Yeah, it's it's yeah, you're, going, you're going to love Great it. It's idea. worth every penny. You're gonna pay fifty bucks for a glass. Do it. Just try it. And if you can afford it, go buy a bottle. Um, you won't be disappointed. No, at all. Don't pass up a glass. No. If you find someone that's got no. a bottle and they want to give you yeah. a finger, you, you yeah, take it. If you, um, even if you saw a uh, Scotch club, we yeah, 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 come on over. We'll give you a glass. Yeah, maybe. Well, um, maybe not a whole <laughs> glass. <laughs> maybe a sip. <laughs> so I don't think we need to go around the horn here. I think we're all four. This, at this, this point. is yeah. This is our this, top shelf. This, this is our. This is the standard. This is our four. Yeah. This is real. And it'll be it'll be tough. I'm sure that there's scotches out there that that may compete with this. But I would have a hard time thinking of a flavor profile that I could say would be so much better than this well flavor said. profile yes. that we would just absolutely knock this down. Uh, to me, this will always be a I don't know. I'm in the search to knock it down because if I find something that knocks us down to number two, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm in a good, pretty good mood. I, would um, do so that. I wouldn't complain. <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. Absolutely. But I think the thing about this scotch that makes it so good is. 
I mean, we've had higher end scotches that absolutely that are less complex. Mm -hmm. This scotch has so much going on because of the barrels that it's aged in, because of all the different flavor profiles that it gets. I think that is the profile that makes this scotch unique, um, and I think that's why every time I taste a different scotch. I'm always coming back to, well, it doesn't taste like the King Alexander. Yeah. Well, no, it can't taste like that because it doesn't have all the barrel aging right. from all those other right. um, flavors. Yeah, I mean, when I, as I was just tasting it, I, 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 what I notice and the way I can describe it is you start with that berry and then the berry goes away, but you still have like a, a vanilla I'm background sure to that. it because, you know, the berry is kind of well, sweet and, you, and it just... Turns and, off, and then, and then that vanilla, vanilla turns into I get like some like citrusy like orange and uh, like a passion fruit kind of thing. Pa the and, passion fruit is where I was. And, looking. and then that the kind of goes fruit. away, and you've just got like this lingering floral kind of thing, just oh, kind of yeah, melting around in your mouth. So uh, I guess, and but next sip might be completely different. It might be that's what's cool some about other this. It's just so product. different. I mean, you, you're going to get like every time you take a drink, it's. It hits your mouth and explodes in different yeah, flavors. Stuff. It's it's crazy. Most scotches we have, we have some good scotches, but this this thing is definitely the most complex. It's crazy. So um, you know this is this is the four. This is the standard. So yeah, this is what we're setting four fingers. On. So if you get a three chance, fingers. you get three fingers. What? What two fingers? I got a three and a half. No, you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. I'm sure. Sure. Is that a four and a half? No. So Scott's uh, is approved. Yeah. Scott, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You know a guy. Mm. Mm.